Hello, Solarloon here, and I'm doing uh, going to do a quick little mini tutorial on turning off mint maps. Uh, someone actually asked on my uh, mail, "Hey, Solarloon, please make a video about how to disable mint maps in the Blender game engine in, in the standalone player." Well, um, that's actually not necessary anymore um, to do it in the in the standalone player. Recently, um, well, you used to have to do it where you would use a command line argument when you start the game either with the Blender player or with your game executable, that says disable mitmaps. It's, I think, dash G space mitmaps, or something like that. I guess dash D no mitmaps. Um, but recently, Moguri, uh, a developer for the Blender game engine, was so kind as to add the ability to disable mitmaps using Python. So, what we're going to do uh, today is, is go ahead and demonstrate that. Um, and this also works for, it should work for the... Uh, internal you know blender game engine here as well as an external player which is good so you get the same uh, result on both a deployed game as well as your you know in development game so i'm going to going to do is just quickly um get an image on here i'm going to go to my games here valkian and get that image of the inventory i'm going to use this little boot i have here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, snap the UVs to pixels and constrain it, constrain it to the image bounds. That makes it a little easier to uh, set up. I just drag it to the corner, size it down by half twice, and then drag it to the corner. So our UV is correctly uh, set up. We're going to go ahead and give this the material that's uh, default in Blender. We're going to make sure it's white, just as a side tip, not really important right now. Um, we're going to make sure it's alpha clip. Because we're going to, you know, it, this part is transparent, whereas the actual pixels aren't. So we want to make sure the transparent part shows through as transparent. We're going to en enable transparency, and then we're going to take the alpha. Well, I'll, I'll get back to that in a few seconds, just so you can see it a little better. So I think that's all we need to do for right now here. Let's go over to the textures uh, tab, and then set the texture to be used to be image. Set the image to be used, and then make sure it's on UV. And this is GLS mode, by the way. So it's different for single texture mode or, or multi texture mode. But mainly, this is talking about how to disable mint maps, not really how to do texturing uh, for Blender. So, uh, or for the GLS mode, rather. So, anyway, uh, go ahead and set the mapping to be UV. And so we see that the boot's there. So we want it to be cut out, this white area. So let's go back, like I was saying, and turn on transparency and turn the alpha to zero. With the alpha blend mode set to alpha clip. Then go to the texture mode, or I'm sorry, texture tab, and set alpha on. Okay, so we want to make sure that this uh, is all cut out. We have the texture set correctly. So everything should be fine. If we go ahead and start the game engine, we see it does indeed show through as gray. Or, or I'm sorry, it shows through as, as transparent. And just to confirm that, yes, indeed, it is transparent. Okay. Now what we're going to do is just have this uh, cube here serve the purpose of kind of being a system cube so I'm just positioning it out of the way of the, of the you know game field so to speak which is just the boot but just as a kind of you know um, pre pre game development kind of step I usually put it high in the scene where I can see it and then I set uh, add an always sensor and I add a Python controller and we set it up to be linked the always sensor leave the settings default so just leave it like this so it will run once um, when the game starts, and then we're going to make a, a Python script for it to run, and that will disable the mint maps. So we're going to add a new text file, a text resource. We're going to set the resource here, and then we're going to type from BGE import render, render dot set mint mapping with a capital M, render dot RAS mint map none, and that's pretty much it. We just go back. Start the game engine, and now it's all sharp. That's really all there is to it. Um, you might be wondering, well, how did I know this offhand? Um, I guess the first time I did this video, <laughs> this is the second time I've, pretty much the second time I've, like, gone through this video entirely. Uh, the first time, I guessed it, but um, you can also, you know, look and find this stuff on the Blender um, documentation. So, if we go, I'm gonna, just going to show kind of a quick little demonstration of where you can get it. Uh, if you tab over, um, yeah, if you just tab over to, 
let's see. Yeah, I have a, st- <laughs> I have a ton of stuff up here. Tab- if you tab over to your, your web browser. This is Maxathon I'm using uh, currently. You just type in Blender 2.969 you know, uh, documentation. And then it'll just bring up the Blender, most recent Blender, uh, well, a Blender documentation that will redirect to the most recent reference. And then you just scroll down and you have your different modules here. Um, the one we're inf- interested in is the Game Engine Modules section for the Game Engine. Um, we also have access to the standalone modules when we make a game. So you can go over here, here and get to bge.render. And then down here, you have different things, vsync uh, settings. I guess you can also set that stuff during... Yeah, you can set vsync now um, uh, in-game. But anyway, we are looking for bge.render.setMintMapping, which is the Python command that I use there. Um, the constants are here, res, mintmap, none, nearest, and linear. Interestingly, that's not listed under the constants section, so I think that, that those need to be added. But um, that is the correct, you know, uh, as far as I know, they're all the correct constants for setting up the mint mapping. And we used res mint, mint map none to disable mint maps and make sure that we're using the, the texture to be scaled up correctly. Um, it's worth noting that I believe this actually takes a little bit of extra um, CPU time or, or, or graphics uh, card rendering time to do um, without mitmaps because it can't like draw a smaller image and scale it up. It has to draw like the actual image and scale. You know, I'm just saying that basically, if you're using GLSL mode, you might have a slowdown if you disable mitmaps as opposed to enabling mitmaps. So that's something to keep in mind if you have like a really complex GLSL scene with you know a really far-reaching uh, depth of field in a sense where you're you know like a first-person game or a third-person game where you see a, a large, you know, area of ground that goes to the horizon. It's going to be kind of difficult to look at, in a sense. All right, well, that's pretty much all I had to say on this matter. Uh, hopefully it's uh, useful and, and uh, instructive. It's useful. <laughs> hopefully it's useful and uh, helps you out with setting up the mint mapping to be disabled, both for the Blender game engine internally as well as the external uh, game that you would uh, export. All right. See ya. Thanks for watching.